Hi, I'm Damian Dewitz, Product Manager at Rambit. In today's demo, I'm going to show you how our evacuation feature works. So, let's head to the platform. Here we are. As you can see, we have a map of the site. If something happens, it will show up on this map. To initiate evacuation mode, switch on the toggle on top of the dashboard. By doing this, you automatically send a notification to all wearables in the field. An important detail, not every employee will receive the same kind of alarm. People already in a safe zone will have another signal than people who are in a so-called no-go zone or people who are moving. Here you can see a list of all active wearables. This list can be used as your reporting tool in real time. To show you how it looks in the field, I've asked my colleague Jochen to play along. If everything goes right, I'll be able to call him right now. Hi Jochen, how are you doing today? Hi Damien, I'm doing well, how are you? Fine, thanks, where are you? I'm currently in the middle of the port of Antwerp on site. Um, I actually just received a notification on my Romware 1 indicating that there is an evacuation taking place. Can you show um, us? So I'm going to head to the mustering point. Can you show us? Okay. Yeah, so currently it's vibrating and, and indicating an, uh, a pink light, which is the, uh, the sign for an evacuation. So while Jochen is walking, let's take a look at the map. As you can see, the blue dot starts moving. This is a great way to monitor if everyone is heading to the virtual muster point. So uh, right now I uh, arrived at the mustering point and my uh, Romer 1 is still indicating with a, a pink LED light that there is an, uh, indeed an evacuation, but it stopped vibrating, indicating that I'm at, at the right spot uh, in a safe place. Okay, that's great, because I can see it in the platform also that you arrived at a master point. So that's good. Okay, perfect. Hey, thanks for the demo. See you next time. We can see it here. The counter went from zero to one. And his blue dot is no longer on the map. So we know that he's safe at the master point. Now, when you want to end the evacuation, you can switch the toggle back off. The evacuation notification on the wearables stops. I will now show you how to manage virtual zones. On the left you see some buttons. For now we'll click on the configuration button. Now let's create a new virtual master point. This is where your employees should go in case of an evacuation. As you can see it's very intuitive. You can make it larger, change locations, whatever you want. So let's say you want to create a no-go zone. Why? Because you want to visualize the epicenter of your calamity. And you want to make sure that no one enters that zone. Here we go. As soon as you switch on the alarm mode, the GPS of every wearable is switched on. This allows you to keep track of everyone in real time. If someone doesn't evacuate, he or she might be in danger. Emergency services will be able to find this person immediately thanks to the location on the map. Now you might wonder what if somebody just left the wearable on a desk? Well. Thanks to the wear detection feature, you can see if a wearable is worn or not. I just showed you how the evacuation feature works. A combination of the Romware platform and wearables ensure a smooth evacuation and real-life reporting. Now, what you just saw is the basic functionality. But all of this can be customized or integrated into your existing systems. If you have questions, just get in touch. See you next time.